What's up, Andy? It's Peter from Bandit here. Hey, about myself, this Ang Link 300 watt power inverter. You have seen me check out some other power inverters before, and I like having power on the road. DX300. If you don't have a power inverter, you have probably just resigned yourself to having your laptop, and when it goes out of without juice, you're like sitting in your car, you're like, I wish I had some power. Well, this little bad boy, as many, well as many other uh, power inverters, will save you from running out of power. Everything runs on electricity these days, right? And a lot of things come with car chargers for uh, fitting into your 12 volt uh, charger, but a lot of things still have an old school plug on them. And that's actually pretty difficult to charge a lot of times if you're in a car. And if you drive a little car like me, like a Fiat, there is no outlet in the car specifically. But this little bad boy gives me the capability to charge things that run on standard outlets right in my car. As you can see here, an aluminum case, it has fins across the top and the sides. That helps keep uh, all of the components cool. Flat bottom, red and silver, pretty attractive looking. It's a pretty big little thing. It's like a small book. You know, like a Lunchables case or something like that. Looks like there's a fan on this side and then a red and black terminal that have like these screw caps so that you can attach the connectors and then screw them down. I'll pull it out here and where'd it go? Well, there it is. The, the nut just screws in there. So, question is, what do you connect to it? Well, you have a couple of things here. So, this cable has the two um, uh, loops on the end to connect to your terminals here. And then it has alligator clamps on this end. And on this cable, you have, again, the connectors for connecting directly to the inverter, as well as your standard 12 volt charger cable. So what you would do in this case is you plug this into your accessory port uh, or cigarette lighter, if you ever had one of those, connect these right here to the inverter, fire up your car so that your accessory port gets power, flip the switch to on, and then go ahead and plug in your devices. And you should be able to power up all your devices. So let's go out and give it a try. All right guys, so out here in my little Fiat and I've got this angling 300 watt power inverter bad boy with the accessory plug installed on it. And I'm just gonna put it, push it in here. And now let's check the box. Boom, turn it on, green light, should be good to go. I have two outlets here to charge stuff. Now the key is with this little bad boy, I know you could plug in your iPhone or your iPad or a lot of little things and it would be no problem. You're going to have plenty of power to power those. So I don't even want to waste your time with that. What you're all asking is, can I run my leg and foot massager from this thing? So I've got it out here because that's what we do. And I've got the plug here. It's a three prong grounded plug, which is good because we've got three prong grounded outlet. Go ahead and plug it in there. And boom, the sucker turns on. Now the question is, will it start? Look at that. So yes, the question that you've all been wondering, how can I power my leg and foot massager from my car has been answered. And the answer is, the angling 300 watt power inverter check it out i'll put a link to it in the description peter von panda out